Thank you, Kendra, for, this is the part, making my life look like an absolute smoke show all day. And she's very humble. It sounded like something you would have said. Like the cold feet, I don't know. Oh yeah. Unlucky lady. Dad, Dad never lets go. I'm Stephen has a very active sense of humor. In fact, some would say he has a constant or perpetual inner monologue that runs. He's constantly thinking about Ooh, what he's going to say it. next that's going to be funny. I might have her wear it tonight and we can both play. You look so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, go, Amy. Go, Amy. You look so good. She looks so good. Come here. I'll never forget the first day I met you in 2014. And no, I'm not referring to how you catfished me with your Tinder photos. <laughs> but instead, how easy it was to be with you. That although we had just met, it had seemed as if I had known you my entire life. Looking back, that was my first sign that God handpicked you for me. Fast forward to 2016, we stood before our family and friends and committed ourselves to each other. Two kids lucky in love and a tad bit naive to think that marriage would come easily. Because how could we avoid compromising a covenant built before God when God was nowhere near the center of it? We were far from prepared to walk the path God intended for us, but if I've learned anything from my journey to finding Him, it's that He is faithful and His plans are far greater than our own. You and Abriel being the most perfect example of God's love and faith. I've learned that the most beautiful times of our life are created from our lowest points and that our God is a God of redemption and second chances. Today, I recommit myself to you. I love you and take you for what I already know and trust in what is yet to come. I will continue to be your best friend and your biggest fan, and I will continue to choose you through our greatest joys and our deepest sorrows. All right, you guys ready to go downstairs? <laughs> Ashley, give me your hand. I can't wait to grow old and frail and ugly with you. Just kidding. I'll never be ugly. Neither will you, baby. When you're angry and say you need space, I vow to never give you that space. Because over the past seven years, I realized that when you say give me space, it actually means hold me closer. Thank you for your patience you've always had for me while I've learned and grown to meet your needs and desires in this world. Every day, your joy and happiness are on my mind. I will pray for you and with you daily. You are my favorite person. But don't worry, you're still dad's best buddy. Even though you're KO'd, he's out. I love you, Ashley Nawal Evans, and I vow to always keep you second right after God. To be together, to be together. You gotta pick our own songs, that's why I chose, so it works out. We're golden.
usually at a wedding, you always, you know, say the fluff and everything like this, but, you know, this is after several years of marriage and seeing how you guys have not just grown together, but also how your uh, lives have just taken you know, the roads, the journeys that you've been on. Congratulations on the ongoing love that you have for each other. First time I met Ashley, I just told her out of all the girls, she's the only one that could be right for Steve and to support him because he's so full of ideas and creativity and like intelligent, hard to keep up with, adventurous. But she was the girl for the job and they complement each other so much. And they're the sweetest, hugest, sweetest hearts. They're so genuine.